Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is January 5th and it looks like Samsung has pushed out some brand new software updates for the Galaxy S20 series as well as the Galaxy Note 20 series. And there might even be some other updates out there maybe for the Galaxy S10s, Note 10s and some of the other devices. So if you guys did see any other updates for any other phone, make sure you guys write a comment below the video. So this way other people can take a look at their phones as well. But it is the fifth day of January. Usually Samsung starts pushing out updates right around the first five days. So what we will be doing is we will be updating these devices. And then once they're updated, we'll take a look at multiple different applications just to see if there's any brand new updates or newer versions. So the ones that we will be taking a look at today will be the camera, the inner Internet, Samsung messages, the fingerprint reader, face recognition, as well as the device care. Now, once you go through and you search for an update on your phone, if you don't know where to look for this update, what you want to do is just go right inside of your settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down underneath the software update, tap there. Then you look for download and install. Now, you do want to make sure that you are connected to a Wi Fi signal, not the normal LTE, just to make sure that you have a better stable connection. Now the update for the Galaxy S20 that I have over here, this size is 231 megabytes. The version ends in CTL5. And when it comes down to the Galaxy Note 20 device over here, this one ends in CTL7. This one's a little bit over 241 megabytes. And again, also gives you that January 1st security patch. And that is for both of these here because it is January. So we're gonna go through Let's go to download and install. So it will download first and then it'll go through and install. Now, at usually at this point in the video, I always state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now the software update is done and complete. Now let's go through some of these applications that we took a look at. Now I do know that a few of these updated just last month, I believe it was the camera and also the fingerprint reader as well as Samsung internet. So we'll take a look just to see if there's any other newer versions. So the first one that we'll take a look at will be the camera and there's always no guarantee that there's newer versions of these, um, but there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the background that they probably did update. Now when it comes down to the Galaxy S20, this one ended with that 110091. So this one's sitting at the same number. The Galaxy Note 20, this one was sitting at the 1100110. So that one's still sitting at the same number. So no, no newer versions of the camera. Now let's move over inside of Samsung Internet. Uh, so all I gotta do is press and hold. Let's go inside of the information one more time. Now for the Samsung Internet, uh, this one was the 13029. So this one's still 13029. And for the Note 20, it was the same version. So 13029, so no new version for the Samsung Internet. Uh, now let's move over down inside of Samsung Messages. Uh, so with Samsung Messages, and personally I do use Google Messages, it's just one of my own, my own preferences. Uh, so with Samsung Messages here, the version that we used to have for the S20 was 12.0.0.0.2.11. Uh, looks like it's the same version here. Now for the Note 20 Ultra, it was 12.0.0.0.2.2.3. Same version here, so no new version of the Samsung messages. Now let's go inside of the face recognition and fingerprint reader as well. I do know that inside of the last screen when we were updating these phones, it did state that there was a security update. Uh, so that could have maybe been somewhere inside of Samsung Pay, maybe something with blockchain, things like that. Uh, so let's go inside of the more biometric settings. And so for these versions we had here for the fingerprint, it was 5100, same version here. Face recognition was 200. And then over here for the Note 20 Ultra, uh, the old version was 5100, same one here. Face recognition used to be the 2007, this one's still 2007. So no new updates for those ones as well. Now let's go inside of the device care. So let's go inside, let's see, uh, battery, battery, and it looks like we have a little new information here, uh, but no new information here. So it looks like that there is a newer version of device care. So I did write this down, which is 12.0.0.0.3.4. So just go through and update this. Now you'll also probably see this uh, sitting right there inside of the, the Galaxy store. So this one could have been sitting there from before. Uh, let's see if this was added in. It looks like this one was added in on January 4th. So just a couple days ago was when this one was actually added in, but I didn't see it until now. So if you guys have not checked just yet your, your Galaxy store for any type of application updates, make sure you guys do that. So what you want to do is just go right inside of your Samsung folder. Then you want to go inside of the Galaxy store. Then on the very top left hand side, 
tap on updates and this is where we're going to find any type of important update so through here you can see for the s20 you have your samsung uh, tts so talk to speech you also have a bitmoji update uh, then you also have your Samsung uh, USB type C update. So sometimes uh, they update the, the the audio drivers when it comes down to your USB type C. So then this is just going to update all those codecs. So this way you have better, you know, sound and better listening. And, and it's one of those things to always keep up and, and manage month to month. So it looks like, uh, you know, Samsung is able to update that, which is also something that's really good to see. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I didn't really find anything personally in inside of these small amount of applications we took a look at. There could have been many more applications we could have looked at, maybe something with Samsung Pay or the blockchain, maybe even inside the, the Samsung Gallery, Game Launcher, the phone. There's so many different things we could have looked at, uh, but I just kind of handpick a few here and there with each of these videos. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.